welcome to Noxe Carnival Festival number seven here in Berlin, where I'm with uh, Teriki from Hamburg. Uh, I'm quite new to your band, so tell me a bit about Teriki. So, yeah, <laughs> yeah um, I guess this band was founded two years ago. Um, I joined them one year ago, and I guess in the beginning it was Maike and Dominic who basically came up with the idea and the, the basic concept of the band and later on Annika joined as far as I know and um, yeah one year later it was me and that's who we are right now. <laughs> I, uh, one funny aspect or no funny event was that we played our first concert actually after I guess three or four months when we were just complete with the band, with the band members. And there was a, and then Hamburg is a, a festival, which is a five minutes festival. There are playing like 30 or 40 bands, each five minutes. So one song mostly. And we, we actually had, at that moment, we were, we were invited to that festival <laughs> and we had five minutes music. And so we decided from one minute to the other, yeah, we were gonna play there. And so we actually played our first show really, really early. <laughs> and then afterwards we were get stuck for half a year in the rehearsal room for writing more songs and stuff because we couldn't play a full set until, I don't know, one half a year later or something. <laughs> yeah, well, it was a bit funny. But it was good for our connection in between the band, I guess, because we, we could play live really early and yeah, get each other to know better because on stage it's always yeah, different and yeah, it was nice. <laughs> yeah, okay, I guess a uh, lot has, has changed from that first gig to, well, today here in uh, Noxay Carnival. So, uh, what kind of uh, live band do you see yourself as? Oh, what makes um, a gig good for you? Um, I guess it's like... Nice people. Nice people. Nice yeah. people. Nice sound. <laughs> yeah, I guess... There is always this certain atmosphere on stage that we all share and um, I don't know, it's like after playing, I would say, at least for me personally, it's after the first 30 seconds or so, like I'm totally in this kind of flow and um, yeah, it kind of feels special to me and um, then seeing my bandmates on stage having fun as well, kind of like lifts me up again and um, yeah, it's just, I mean, playing live is just why we spend so much time in the rehearsal room and it's just the thing we want to do the most, I believe. And I think we all like it quite dark and foggy on stage. Yes. That is one aspect. If, if it's possible to make it dark and foggy, it's a good, um, purpose, what do you say? Um, um, prerequisite. Okay, it's, it's good for us <laughs> if, we, if it's uh, possible to make it um, foggy and, and dark on stage, yeah. And something else? We need to on stage? No. No. Okay, let's go uh, back to your music. Uh, uh, you mentioned that your music is uh, blackened post-metal slash sludge which uh, is quite appealing to me, actually. So, uh, uh, how important are music genres to you? Like, uh, maybe uh, post-metal, black metal, do they hold any meaning to you at all? For me personally, um, not really. I mean, as long as I like the kind of music, I don't really care what genre it is. And, I mean, I guess we all find it kind of difficult to come up with a specific genre for our music because people ask us like okay what would you call your type of music and we're always like okay hmm what what is it actually and Dominic came up with what yoga metal or something like that and um, yeah I guess this blackened post metal kind of describes it best yeah. I would say I hate the genre discussion. <laughs> I don't like it, so I always say something like, uh, so in German it's düsteres Geballer, dark and... Uh, it's dark. Dark noise. Dark noise. Yeah. <laughs> something else. Yeah. Yeah, but finally you need any description because, um, of course, if I want to go to a concert, I want to see which kind of music is 
uh, going to be played there and so of course people ask and I know it's necessary to have the journalist but just for that yeah. I guess it's necessary I, and I besides guess. it doesn't matter at all. <laughs> Recently we were announced as hardcore punk and I, and I believe that might have been quite confusing when people came to our show and maybe didn't know us before and expected something like, yeah, like hardcore punk and then we came on stage and everything was dark and foggy and we just started playing our set and we're just really hardcore punk I'd say but yeah, that was like a funny, funny thing. <laughs> okay, uh, putting the boxing music in the genres aside, uh, how would you then uh, describe the music that will be on your upcoming album? What kind of music are we gonna hear? Mm. What did Lukas say? He described it quite well when you made that post thing. Do you remember? He said, he said uh, it was really sad, powerful. Yeah. Um, one, ah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> One person we actually met as well on concerts, a guy, um, drummer of another band, we played a couple of concerts in between with, um, a Berlin band, by the way, <laughs> as well. Yeah. Um, he described uh, a couple of weeks ago when Rise and Fall um, came up, our music, and he said it's a very powerful, sad um, kind of music, I guess. Yeah. And I found it quite a good description actually yeah, kind of um, I guess if you compare the new songs to the old ones which were on the first EP I guess it's a bit darker I'd say it's it's way darker actually and it, it contains more of this what people would describe as black metal harmonies I'd say and yeah I guess that's the main thing for our upcoming album okay uh I read online somewhere a uh, phrase, love music, hate fascism. So, uh, does uh, Teriki have a message or is uh, politics an important part of your band? <laughs> um, I think for us especially it's very important to write something like that down because we have these black metal things and there are quite a lot of black metal bands from more in the racist national socialism way. Um, we would not say that we are a political band, but it's very important for us to um, to let people know that we we will not support something like racism, sexism or um, yeah, yeah. homophobia and all the other bad stuff. <laughs> yeah, I'd, I'd say personally, I guess every one of us is a political person, and um, but our music does not deal with politics. It's more like personal things we, yeah. we um, kind of transport in our music. But nevertheless, it's important for us to make a statement like love music, hate fascism, um, so everyone knows where we are coming from. Okay, thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you. Yeah, thank you.